Bannock County leaders say the public will get a chance to weigh in on the consolidation of the North and South Fairs. Last week, county commissioners and fair board members moved to eliminate the North County Fair. Instead, just one fair would be county-sponsored annually, and it would be held in Downey. In a news release, county leaders said they will be beginning and improving and upgrading the South County Fairgrounds, and that the North Fairground would still be used for things like rodeo and the 4th of July celebration. Now, after we ran this story, we had several viewers reach out to us concerned that the county could lose the North property without an annual fair. KPVI News 6's Ethan Wellhausen took a closer look to see if there was any truth to that. That document indicated to us and to the commissioners then, if they didn't keep a fair there, they were going to lose the land. Gene Neal Anderson was the Bannock County Clerk from 1979 to 1983. He says there was a push at the time to reduce the county's budget. That included only one fair. When we found that document, we figured we can't do that. Anderson says the Bannock County Extension Office helped his deputy clerk, Craig Lachance, find the 1930s document. I asked Anderson why current county commissioners did not know about this stipulation. I mean, it's been 45 years since we were there, and we're just running on memory. I contacted the Extension Office and was told documents aren't kept very long, and it could have been lost from multiple moves. If they don't find that document and the family doesn't claim it, I don't see that there's any problem. I reached out and spoke to Robert Hart, one of Harry Hart's sons. He tells me his father did not own the land where the fairgrounds sit, but his father did donate a quarter mile of land from Chubbuck Road to reach the fairgrounds. Now, the Portland of Wellness Center sits on the 80 acres the Hart family previously owned. As for the consolidation, Anderson is glad it finally might come to fruition. Quite honestly, I think that's a good move. Taking a closer look at the deed, it shows the county actually bought the land from Industrial Lands Incorporated in 1959. There will be a county, uh, county council meeting next Wednesday going through the details of the commissioner's resolution.